What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Nature Kid Chris, and I'm here to tell you the real reason why you don't love yourself. I'm going to tell you this now. The real reason why you don't love yourself, look who you are around. Pay attention to your surroundings. It be mainly the people you are around that literally lower your confidence. They don't see you for who you are. They see you as somebody just to play around with. It could be friends, relationships, your parents, your grandparents. Pay attention who you are around because the people that you are around is a reflection of you. The people that's around you is a reflection of who you are on the inside of yourself. Nobody else could change that but who? You. Love everything about yourself. Why would you hate something that God created? You hating something that God created, bro. Do you know how God really feel about that? Honestly, think about that. You literally go up to other people. You literally post yourself. I understand if you post yourself because you love yourself. But some people post themselves just because they want somebody to slide up and literally say, Oh man, you look so cute. You look so handsome. You can't be looking for that. Stop seeking for validation. Bro. Seek validation within yourself. Start loving things about yourself. That's the number that's the number one thing. You seek validation. You want somebody to say these things about you. What you think, you want those people to say that about you. But what you thinking, you're not even thinking that for yourself. That's the crazy part. You want somebody to say that of what you thinking. But you won't do it for yourself though. You literally wake up every single day. You watch somebody else's life. They sitting here happy, sitting here being joyful with themselves, and you sitting here comparing your life to theirs. That's the number two thing. That's the number two thing. Why you not happy with yourself? Comparison. Comparing your life to somebody else drains your happiness away. You comparing your life is two different lives, bro. That's not your life. You have a different life for a reason. You have a different path for a reason. What I meant to say, you have a different path for a reason. Whatever you trying to do, do it for you. You cannot do the same thing that they did because it's not going to work for you. It's different paths. Y'all may, y'all probably got the same type of story, but still, you can't do what they do. You can't do what they did because it's different. Number three. How you... Number three. How you talk. How you talk about yourself. That's the real reason why. Number three. The real reason why you don't love yourself is the way you talk about yourself. You wake up every day. Literally. I don't like the way I dress, man. Nobody like me. I don't like myself. I don't think I'm good enough. I don't think I'm... I don't think I could get anybody. You literally saying no things about you. And you really putting that into your brain. And you manifesting this life. You manifesting everything that you're saying right now. Everything that you think and feel you is manifesting that. So love everything about yourself. That's the number one thing. Like this says, it said happiness never decreases from being shared. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle and the life of the candle would not be short. What it mean by that? A single candle. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle. What that means is if you share your light right now, you can light up the whole room with this light that you have within. Let me read that one more time. 
Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. What do you mean by that? Yo, bro, literally, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Your light will not be shortened, bro. Your light will keep going on forever. Your light will keep flaming. It will keep going up. Just by your light, bro. Just by, just by your light, you can light up the whole room. One single candle. That light that you have within, you can light up this whole room right now. Have you noticed? Every time you speak highly about yourself, you step in the room with full of confidence, you go light that mud up. Everybody, all eyes on you. But you don't believe that, though. Happiness never decreases from being shared. Happiness never decreases. If you sharing your happiness, it's not going to decrease. It's going to increase. It's going to increase. It's going to keep going up. It's going to keep going because you're sharing something that people need. This right here, I'm sharing my happiness to you. It's not going to decrease. It's going to increase. It's going to keep going up. It's going to keep shooting up. Because I'm sharing this to you. You have to share your light, bro. You can't be talking about yourself. The more and more you talk about yourself, just like it said, the life of the candle will not be shortened. But listen, you were showing your candle just by you talking about yourself, bro. Just by you talking about yourself, you're going to keep showing your light. Because you're not believing nothing you're saying. You over here just talking about yourself. And you don't love nothing about yourself. Number four, social media. Reason why I say social media is one of the parts you don't love yourself. It's just like number two, I think. Yeah, was it number two? Yeah, comparison. You comparing your life to others. Social media is like, it make you seem like you missing out on a lot of things because you see your friends going out to parties, uh, you see your friends doing these things that they should not be doing, but you feeling like you should do it because they having fun with it. Like I just told you, we have different paths. If it makes them happy, it makes them happy. That doesn't mean you need to go over here and do what they doing. No, because at the end of the day, you're going to drain yourself because you trying to do what they do even though it makes them happy, but in reality, it's not making them happy. Within, it's making them happy in the flesh. You need to figure out how you need to be happy within yourself because if you don't know how to figure that out, you're going to be lost. You're just going to be sitting still the whole time, just stuck. So, social media is a big part. Get off social media and you will understand how to love yourself. You will actually understand not to just post yourself and try to see like I said, seek for validation like somebody just needs to slide up and say this and agree with you on everything. Life is not about agreeing with everything. It's about ups and downs, bro. It's going to be disagreements in here, bro. And this is life. Nobody's going to agree with you all the time. I'm telling you that now. You need to just fix who you are. And you will find those people for you. Simple. You will find people that will love you. Be the energy you want to attract. Let me get this for you. Matter of fact, let me get this for you. Let me show y'all, man. I'm, I'm telling y'all just now. Come on, man. Let me, let me. Look. Okay. Let me read something to you. Be the energy you want to attract, right? So, if you want to be the energy you want to attract. Okay. I have to find it. I highlighted some things. I know. Hold on, y'all. I already know how y'all. But. I'm trying to help you real quick. Okay. I got to find this, this, this page, man. Where is it at? All right. Let me say, okay, when, this is what I said. Be the energy you want to attract. Let's change that up. This one I was talking about, you loving yourself. Listen, manifesting love, divine perfection. Let me tell you, it says if you do not love yourself, you have been disconnected from who you truly are. For your true self is pure love. What it means, you, if you don't love yourself, you are disconnected from who you truly are. For your true self is pure love. Your true self is pure love, bro. Your true self love everything about you, bro. 
every little thing that you hate about yourself, your true self, who you are within, loves everything about you, literally. So you have to really stop being disconnected from yourself. That's why you don't, you can't think for yourself because you disconnected from who you truly are. Your true self know who you are. Your true self don't care about these parties, no nothing, bruh. Your true self care about everything about you. Ask this question. Ask this question. To ask this, ask this question to yourself every day. It says, would I date myself? I am the energy I want to attract. If not, be the energy you want to attract. So basically, be the energy you want to attract. Be that energy. If you want some, would you date yourself? Who you are right now, would you date yourself? I'm pretty sure right now, if you if you see who you really are right now, you would not be dating yourself. You would be like, no, I need to change my ways. That's why you need to be the energy you want to attract. Or... I am the energy I want to attract. So if you tell yourself every day, I am the energy I want to attract, you will literally attract those people for you. That's why you need to love yourself. That's why the things that you do right now, like I just said, whatever you say, you manifest that and it will come into your life. I'm telling you this now. So, okay. It said, let me tell you this. It says the truth is that we are looking for one of all Oh, one or all of these to be a part of our own I am, our own beliefs, and our own identity. Unfortunately, if we start looking for love outside of ourselves and our own I am, we will be on a never-ending chase to fill the empty void within us. Basically, if you look in love, if you're looking for love outside yourself, if you're not trying to find love within yourself, unfortunately, you will not. You would not be able to connect with yourself because you're trying to fill the void in something that's why most people move on to relationships after relationship after relationships because they're trying to fill that void you can't fill the void because you're going you're looking for love outside yourself you need to go within and seek love within yourself it said okay if we were ever to find someone to love us in the way we desire to be loved we must first love ourselves in the way we desire to be loved let me repeat that. If you were ever to find someone to love us in the way we desire to be loved, we must first love our love ourselves in the way we desire to be loved. So what it's saying is if you find somebody, if you wanted somebody to love you the way you love yourself, I'm telling you now, if you find somebody that love you, the way you love yourself, that is going to be something serious right there. Because you need to understand this. If you want to be desired to love, you want to be desired to be loved the way you love yourself, you must change who you are. You must change that person that's not loving itself, that's that's being disconnected. Because this who you are, this physical, does not matter. Like I say, your true self don't care about none of this stuff, bro. So... It, it said, boom, when the time come, you, you will find your ideal partner. Know that they will be a reflection of your inner world, like I just told you. When you find your ideal partner, like I told y'all, the people who you are around right now, that is your inner world. That's why everything you see, it don't frustrate you because that's who you are. That's why you have to be careful who you hang around. You are who you hang around with. I'm pretty sure you heard that so many times, but you are who you hang around. Understand that. Everything that's around you, that's who you are. Look at me. I'm by myself. Because I know who I am. I went within myself and I actually took time out of my day to actually find peace within me. So, I'm telling y'all now, like, if you if you if you really want to be some man this manifesting love stuff bro th this is real life bro like i'm telling you now like take time out your day to actually focus on yourself bro like it, it gets real so boom it's a if you're if your life is a mirror forever reflecting your beliefs what do you and the people around you believe this is what it's saying what do you and the people around you believe that's what I'm saying. That's why your life is a mirror, bro. Everything that you see in your face right now, it's a reflection of you. The people you are around is a reflection. That's you. That's your inner world. 
So if it is an unsettling truth, how can you change it? Will can either choose to be alone for a while or surround yourself with like-minded individuals who are aligned with your vision. If you don't have people that's aligned with your vision, you need to get away from them. That's why you need to take breaks to be alone by yourself because if how can you change it? How can you change that mind? How can you change th this mind right here? How can you change these beliefs in your mind to be a better version of yourself? That's why you need to be in solitude. That's why you need to surround yourself with like-minded people like I just told you. This is why I'm in solitude. This is why I'm by myself because I don't have like-minded individuals around me. I have myself and that's it. And I will, like you say, and I will, and I will become the energy I want to attract. I am. Simple. That's all you have to do, bro. This is a 15, finna, finna be 16 minutes long video even though i've been not stuttering but i've been stuttering but also not even no stuttering i've been trying to you know what i'm saying get it right i'm trying to get y'all to understand this most people would not understand what i'm saying right now be the energy you want to attract bro be the energy you want to attract and like i say man like i say bro where is that manifesting love be that First, if you want to manifest love, you have to love yourself, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all, bro. We out.